Hey guys, John with Rural Homesteaders here again. I'm gonna go through those eggs that I separated. So I went through all my eggs. I separated these out as the ones that were floating yesterday when I was cleaning all my eggs. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna go through these, I'm gonna crack them, and then I'm gonna do one of two things. If they're still good, because they could be, put them in this ball jar, put them in the refrigerator, and we'll have some eggs that we can cook up and work with. If they're not, then we're going to put them in the container over there and cook them up for the animals and send them on their merry way. So now you gotta remember these eggs have all tested bad already. But as you can see right here, there's nothing wrong, whoops. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that egg at all. That egg is a, a beautiful looking egg. Um, it just float. So I'm going to uh, you know, save that. We're going to use that for the, for the dogs. Now, this is how we do eggs at home. We always do eggs into a container before we switch it into another container. That way, if we run into a bad one, we just throw the bad one away and not throw all the eggs away because that's just the way eggs are. You end up with... Uh, you end up with a bunch of eggs that sometimes they just float. So all three of these eggs right here were floating. As you can see, nice beautiful eggs. There's nothing wrong with them. But to be on the safe side, when we give eggs to family and friends and, and they go anywhere but here in the house, this is what we do with them. Now every now and then, We'll run into something that is less than ideal. Or we'll break an egg like this one just broke, so we will uh, we only save the eggs that don't break. By now I pretty much know how not to break an egg. But it still happens. So that's what we do with the eggs that do break. By the time I'm all said and done, I end up with all these already cracked eggs. And those broken ones. We end up with all these cracked eggs. And I don't want to waste them, so that's why we can make omelets, we can make all kinds of stuff out of these eggs. These will just be the very next eggs we use. So if I want to add some egg to the dog's food or what have you. That's the direction I will go. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging yesterday that we had a whole bunch of bad eggs just because they all floated. Floating an egg doesn't mean it's bad. As you can see right here, you can see how nice and green, uh, how nice and orange those are. Beautiful eggs. These eggs are fine. Two eggs broke. None of the eggs were actually bad eggs. They just were floating. So keep that in mind when you're looking at uh, these videos on what people are posting out there. Thanks for watching.